Have a blessed day mga kamater sa mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Hello sa ating lahat sa mga nag-aaral ng modular and online. Hello po, kumusta po ang ating pag-aaral? Before we continue, I would like to say thank you sa lahat ng pagsuporta sa atin ng ating pamahalaan ng DepEd officials natin mula sa ating DepEd secretary, sa ating uh, SDO Rizal, kay Happy SJ, kay Ma'am Che, thank you very much sa ating mga local government units, mula sa governor, mayors, councilors, hanggang sa ating barangay sa patuloy na pagsuporta sa programa ng mga paaralan ngayong new normal sa pagdodonate ng mga pangangailangan nila ng mga rims, ng mga band paper at sa lahat ng pangangailangan ng ating mga bata. Punong-puno po, thank you sa kanilang suporta. Patuloy lamang po tayo magtulungan ngayong panahon ng pandemya at muli, saludo po ang Sir Johnny sa patuloy na mga tumutulong sa paaralan para mairaos ang pag-aaral na to. Thank you po. Please don't forget to like my channel, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga video lessons ko in learning fractions. Join your video, don't forget! Today, our topic is multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. Still, I am your GTO, your great teacher, Olorvida, Sir Johnny Olorvida. We are going to study how to multiply mixed numbers. Let us continue. Remember, the prerequisite skill in multiplying mixed numbers and fraction is changing mixed number to improper fraction. Kinakailangan na marunong kayong mag-change ng mixed number to improper fraction. This is very important for you to get the correct answer. 2 and 3 fourths, you are going to change it into 11 fourths. Paano? Paano siya nangyari? Let us learn. To change mixed number to improper fraction, all you have to do is just like this one. 4 times 2. So you are going to multiply the denominator and the whole number. Ayan, itong dalawa, 2 times 4. Then add the numerator, plus 3. So 4 times 2, plus 3. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. And use the same denominator. So the improper fraction of a mixed number 2 and 3 fourths is 11 fourths. So, tingnan natin ang illustration. 2 and 3 fourths, may dalawang buo, then isang 3 fourths. So, that, this is 2 and 3 fourths. Then, ang improper fraction, there are 11 1 fourths. Ayan, makikita nyo. 11 1 fourths, kaya that is 11 fourths. Let us change the following mixed number to improper fraction. 3 and 1 fourth. What is the answer? What will you do? Very good. So 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So the answer is 13 fourths. Very good. Clap your hands. Ayan, alam na kaagad. Let us change this fraction, this mixed number to improper fraction. 5 and 2, 7. How are you going to change it to improper fraction? Okay, what is the answer? All you have to do is to multiply the denominator and the whole number. 5 times 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2 is 37. So the answer is 37, 7. Good job! Let us start with this problem. A room is 8 and 2 third meters by 5 and 1 fourth meters. What is the area of the room? Again, we are looking for the area of the room. And what is the shape of the room? Yes, this is a rectangle, a rectangular room. So, the measurement is 8 and 2 thirds meter. What is 8 and 2 thirds? Very good. So, this is the length of the room, 8 and 2 thirds meter. 
and pi by one fourth is the width of the room. So what are we going to do to solve this problem? How are we going to solve for the area of the room? Very good. We are going to multiply the new uh, the length and the width. It will become eight and two thirds times five and one fourth. So how are we going to solve this? Remember, mga kamatters, the important step is to change or convert mixed numbers to improper fraction. Yung mixed number, i-change muna natin sa improper fraction. Next, simply multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. And always express your answer in lowest term. Let us go back to our problem. Let us multiply 8 and 2 thirds and 5 and 1 fourth. So 8 and 2 thirds times 5 and 1 fourth. So, hindi nyo pwedeng i-multiply ang whole number na 8 times 5 is equals to 40, 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 4 is 12. This is wrong. Maling mali yan, kids. Do not do this because we are not going to multiply the whole number. We are going to change it first to mix a two improper fractions. Very good. Let us go back to the problem. So, our equation will become 8 and 2 thirds times 5 and 1 fourth equals n. As you can see, 8 and 2 thirds is a mixed number together with 5 and 1 fourth. The first step is to change it or convert it to improper fraction. So let us convert 8 and 2 thirds to improper fraction. Let us multiply 3 times 8, 24, plus 2 is 26. Heto na siya, 26 over 3. Next, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is equals to 21. So, heto na yung pangalawa nating improper fraction, 21 fourths. So, the rule in multiplication, multiply only the numerators and multiply the denominators. Let us multiply 26 times 21 is 546. 3 times 4 is 12. And 546 is an improper fraction. So, we did divide ulit natin sila. 546 divided by 12 is 45. May makukuha tayo remainder na 1. So, our answer is 45 and 1 half square meters. Ilo lowest term kasi yung fraction. Kaya naging 1 half yan. Okay. Now, it's your turn. Let us multiply this number. 3 fifths multiplied by 1 and 2 thirds. Begin, get your notebook and pencil. Then, I'm going to help you. This is 3 pips times, what are we going to do with 1 and 2 thirds? Okay, change it to improper fraction. 3 times 1, 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. It will become 5 thirds. Then, let us multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. And 5 times 3 is another 15. So what will be our final answer? Very good. Our final answer is 1. Nice. Next. Let us try this. 1 and 1, 6 times 2 and 1, 4. Begin. Okay, I will help you again. So, yung 1 and 1, 6, magiging ano? Tingnan natin. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So, it will become 7, 6. Very good. Then, 2 and 1 fourth will become 4 times 2, 8 plus 1 
9. Very good. It will become 9 fourths. Then we are going to multiply the numerator. 7 times 9 is 63. Very good. 6 times 4 is 24. Is this our final answer? Not yet because this is an improper fraction. Let us divide. 63 divided by 24. Oh, what is the answer? Okay, very good. 2. 2 times 24 is 48. 63 minus 48. 13 minus 8 is 5. Then this will become... Okay, 5 minus 4 is 1. So our answer, answer will become... 2 and 15, 24. Very good. But wait, there is more. It's not yet in lowest term. We are going to divide 15 and 24 by their GCF. And what is the GCF of 15 and 24? Very good. 3. So, don't forget to copy number 2, the whole number. And let us divide 15 divided by 3 is 5. Very good. Then, 24 divided by 3 is 8. Okay, so this will be our final answer. 2 and 5 is. Good job, mga kamaters! Let us apply. A baker uses 1 and 1 half tablespoon of melted butter for every kilogram of flour. How many tablespoons of melted butter he used for 2 and 1 for kilogram of flour. Alam ko marami sa inyo ngayong pandemic na naging baker, nag-aral kung paano magluto at mag-bake. So let us apply your knowledge in multiplying fraction. What are we going to do with this problem? Very good. So we are looking for how many tablespoon of melted butter he used for 2 and 1 fourth kilogram of flour. So, we are going to multiply 2 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 half. Or 1 and 1 half times 2 and 1 fourth equals and This will be our equation. Then, the first thing that we are going to do is to change 2 and 1 and 1 half into improper. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So it will become 3 halves. 2 and 1 fourth will become 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 fourths. So 3 halves times 9 fourths. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 9, 27. 2 times 4, 8. Then we are going to Express this in lowest term, 27 divided by 8. What will be the answer? 27 divided by 8 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And 27 minus 24 is 3. So our final answer is 3 and 3 8 tablespoon. Nakuha ba mga kamaters? That's all for today, mga kamaters, ang mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Stay safe, stay at home. Kalma lang, matatapos din ang pandemyang ito. See you again on my next video, Division of Fractions. Bye everyone! Bye-bye!